Okay, the third one is, the third phase is activation, and you can use pretty much any type of band, you just have to be a little bit creative. Now on your program you have the anterior tibialis or the front of the shin exercise where she's using a cable machine and a table. All you need for this is a band and a sturdy leg of a coffee table or a TV stand or a couch. At home what I do is I just wrap this around the couch leg and I just stick it right through. This is a light body band. You can get these bands off of body-bands.com but you can also use tubes um, or TheraBands to do the same thing. So you're going to work your shin, and you want the resistance to come from directly across your body. So you'll tuck your toe in the band, and then slightly invert your foot. So it's, it's tilting the inside up, but it's not turning it in. So tilt the inside up, and then pull towards you and hold for two seconds, and then drop it down for four, three, two, one. The tempo is really important on all of these exercises because it's no more neurologically stimulating on the muscle fiber to go slow on the negative. So you're going to get more signal firing to that weak muscle when you go slow. So again, invert and then dorsiflex and then relax. This is firing the shin, the anterior tibialis, which is going to counter the calf and the soleus being too tight. The second one is the posterior tibialis. So that one is on the inside and we work the inside shin muscle because the outside gets really tight. So when I do this one, I use the same band at home, and then you're going to lift up your leg and put it on the outside, and that's to prevent it from pulling in this way. And then when you do this, instead of turning it in, you're going to pull your foot into that inversion position, just like when your feet flatten, they cave in. So we're trying to strengthen the muscles that pull the feet up. So you're pulling in, holding, release four, three, two, one. And it's kind of a twist. You're just basically taking your toe and, and tilting it in towards you. And then you want to do two sets of 15 of each of these on both legs. Okay, the third option for your activation exercises is if you don't have a band, you can do what we call heel walking. So instead of opposite being on your toes like you are when you actually end up getting developing plantar fasciitis, we're going to walk on our heels, which again is going to fire the shin. So I usually recommend doing this for about two minutes, a minute and a half to two minutes. And all you're doing is just leaning back on your heels, lifting your toes up, and then just taking a couple steps around and you're going to feel it start to burn, and as soon as you feel it start to burn, do about 30 more seconds, and that'll get a good fire to the anterior tibialis.